In 1983, I was invited to make a trip around the world. My life was affected dramatically by that trip. A year later, in 1984, I took five young men that I was attempting to train and disciple, and we went to Europe and made a survey trip of five countries in Central Europe. The first of those countries, and the last of those countries, by the way, on that trip, was Germany. I had an invitation to come and visit a missionary couple in Koblenz, Germany. Sam and Yolanda Entz, E-N-T-S, or Z. We stopped there and had a wonderful time. They were a really sweet couple, really dear. They'd been missionaries there for close to 25 years. And so they had many stories to tell us and many experiences that were thrilling. We left and went on to Switzerland and later on to Belgium, France, and so forth, and came back. We had one day left over purposely so that we could go any place we wanted the final day. And I asked the guys, hey, where would you like to go? And they all said, back to Germany. So we called Sam and Yolanda and said, hey, could we stop by one more day? We're leaving tomorrow, but we'd like to stop by and see you one more time. They said, oh yeah, we'd love to have you. We talked and talked and talked and had a wonderful time together. And toward the later part of the day, Yolanda said, Herschel, I would like to ask you, to bring young people like these back to Germany someday. And I said, Yolanda, that's nice and I appreciate your interest and your, uh, I just appreciate you asking us, but I can't just say, yes, we'll bring somebody back to Germany. I don't know how God is going to lead us in the days to come. I don't know what to say. She said, please consider bringing young people like these back to Germany. And I said, Yolanda, I'll pray about it, but I can't promise anything. And then I said, you know something? I don't think you understand really what you're asking. If we were to bring young people back to Germany, don't you realize that there would be persecution? We would be rejected by many people. We would be accused of being a cult or a sect or something of that nature. There would be a lot of rejection if we tried to come in from the United States to try to plant churches or to see people evangelized in Germany. I will not forget the next words that Yolanda said. She said, Herschel, we're not strangers to persecution. And then I realized that earlier she had told me how she had been in a Nazi prison camp and had escaped, had gone out of the country, somehow gotten out of the country, had gone to the United States, had gotten a job in a uh, factory in California, and the guy next to her at a machine next to her led her to Christ. Then they got married and came back as missionaries to Germany. And as she said, we're not strangers to persecution. I felt so ashamed of even what I'd said. We left, caught our flight, but as we were driving down to the airport, I turned to the five guys in the van and I said, I believe I'm sorry. I said, I believe we'll be back in Germany. And that was the beginning of trips to Germany. Later on, when Daniel and Lori Gearing moved to Germany to help us with uh, an outreach and later on started a church, the Bibel Center said that they could come and live with them. In Germany, you don't just drop in and find or rent a house. Sometimes it takes a year or two years to find a rental property where you can live. It's very difficult. 
And so what they did in inviting Daniel and Lori to live with them with their children was a miracle. And we took that as a miracle from God. Later on, God opened the doors to other countries like Ukraine. And then one of the interesting places was Italy, uh, Frank and Pam of Pisa. And of course, then we went on to uh, Poland. And then later on, God gave us contact in Spain. And so God gave us opportunities in six different countries there in Europe. And so I feel that a very wonderful work God led us to begin and a wonderful work is continuing at the present time.